The step sequencer is the last of the internal modulators. So far, all of the modulators allow smooth changes over time. Although with the correct settings, they can be changed to provide some sharp changes. The step sequencer is used when you want to provide a pattern of sharper changes over time. The most common task for using a step sequencer is to alter note pitches. This is often the case when you want to use a step sequencer as an arpeggiator. This is possible in Nitrous by using the step sequencer to target a pitch shift operator. For this example, however, we're going to use a state variable filter as the operator. Like the envelope modulator, we'll use a step sequencer to vary the cutoff and resonance of this filter. It just takes a second to set both of these up in the matrix. It is then only a matter of adjusting the sliders to get the results you want. Note that the step sequencer includes a smooth control. This is used if you want to have the jumps in the sequence be less severe and allow the changes gradually over a short space of time. Another source of control over perimeters is the eight control knobs that are visible on the Nitrous interface. To set these up for use, again, we look at the matrix. Select a signable knob in the source drop-down menu. Select the perimeter you want to adjust in the destination menu and adjust the sensitivity to suit. Like the internal modulators, you are not limited to having just one target for that control, as long as you remain within the limit of 16 imposed by the matrix. To produce a similar result to those seen earlier, you can link one knob to the cutoff frequency and resonance of a filter. This will give you more manual control over a filter sweep. Nitrous also accepts MIDI control as a source. This control can then take the form of MIDI notes, MIDI velocity, aftertouch, pitch bend information, just to name a few. Other MIDI control messages can be selected and a full list can be found under the MIDI control change drop-down menu in the source section of the matrix. For this example, again, we are going to use a filter as our destination. This time, we want to be able to affect it using the aftertouch function of a control keyboard that is in use. In the matrix, select MIDI aftertouch and link this to the cutoff of the resonance of the operator. This shows you yet another way in which you can control the process within Nitrous. That gives a quick insight into the way in which you can affect the various perimeters within Nitrous. Note that we have only shown you a small variety of the different ways you can set up the matrix and modulators. There are literally hundreds of different destinations and millions of possible combinations to choose from. So if you think there is some aspect you want to control, there is a good chance that you'll be able to find it in the drop-down menu in the list of destinations. Take some time to investigate all the possibilities. <laughs>